welcome back to my channel this is part two of my july sales i posted part one last week and it's linked above where i went over all of my poshmark sales now i'm gonna go over everything that sold on every other platform i sold on a lot of platforms in july i'm really happy about that it was a good month i think it's my best month so far so we're gonna try and keep up that energy we're gonna jump right into it with etsy had a total of nine sales on Etsy for a total of $525.28. On July 8th, I sold this vintage 90 Senorita blouse. It sold for $29.23, and that includes shipping. On the 10th, I sold this vintage straw sunflower crown hat. I got this hat at the swap meet. It sold for $37 with shipping. This was hard to ship. I had to Frankenstein a box. So Frankenstein is when you have to like chop multiple um, boxes together in order to get one big box. It was a wide brim hat. So I was really nervous shipping this one out. But um, she gave me a five star review and she was very happy with that. So I was very happy with that sale. Finally on the 15th. Um, these items were part of my Tiki Oasis collection, so I dropped a collection um, in July and it was all Tiki inspired outfits. True vintage Hawaiian pieces. This vintage men's Kamehameha Hawaiian shirt sold for $59.54. Also, this vintage 60s mod psychedelic Hawaiian shift dress. This one sold for $63.44. Up next is a vintage rum barrel with a novelty purse. I love this purse. I can't believe I had it for a couple of months, but um, yeah, I loved it. I love wooden purses. This one sold for $63.51. Up next, another dress from my Tiki Oasis drop. I love this dress so much. It was like a true mermaid dress. It was like off the shoulders. It had elastic, so it would hold off the shoulders. It had a little fish tail. It was amazing. It was a vintage of a love Hawaiian luau dress and it sold to a lovely follower of mine. She reposted the dress. She tagged me. I was like, ah, it just made me so happy because these are the type of sales that I love. Like I love picking up these outfits. Like I always picture somebody wearing them and then she was so happy that she tagged me when she wore it out. So thank you so much for that. Arami. Up next, also on the 17th, um, this vintage 60s, it was a Huki Lao Psychedelic Mod Pop Art dress. It was also a shift dress. This one sold for $58.89. Another one of my favorite. I love that collection so much. Um, on, on the 19th, this vintage 60s, this was, um, I don't know if I'm saying this right, Pikaki Fashions. It was a gorgeous aqua princess luo floral luau floral maxi dress it was so pretty like the colors were so vibrant it was like the perfect aqua ocean blue and with hints of pink i love this dress so much so thank you her name is lydia i hope you love it and finally on the 26th another 60s men's hawaiian shirt this was a day glow shirt it would have like a vibrant hot pink ombre effect this one sold for $66.90 to Chloe thank you so much Chloe and those were all my sales on Etsy now let's head over to Facebook marketplace who woke up and gave me a lot of sales this month on Facebook marketplace I had seven sales for a total of $290 sale of the month on Facebook marketplace were these Christian Louboutin Paris heels they were resold. I got these in a thread up box and I'm assuming they're authentic because they came from thread up. So they sold for $40 and I was happy with that just to get them out of here. Up next is vintage Power Rangers lunch bag tote. I got this for a dollar at the Swami. I thought it was going to be worth more for some reason, but I sold it for $6. Up next, these vintage clown carnival cake toppers. I filled up a tote bag at an estate sale with a bunch of random stuff. Like, they charged me $20 for the tote bag, but I had hundreds of things in there. Like, I wish I did a better job of keeping track of, like, my cost, but I probably have, like, 10 cents into this. I kid you not, like, no more than 25 cents, and I've already been made so much profit on that 
on that buy but these were a part of it i just threw them in and these sold for ten dollars plus shipping up next these impala roller skates they were pre-owned so at the swap meet i found two pairs of skates and some doc martin boots and um the seller was asking forty dollars for the boots um and they wanted fifty dollars for the skates so i ended up bundling all three and asking him asking him if he would take a hundred for all three so i have probably like thirty dollars thirty three dollars into these and they sold for eighty nine dollars so up next these vintage the vintage 90s electronic dream phone game they sold for 25 dollars um it was not in working condition and i wasn't even going to try to repair it if you find these old games i feel like people sometimes share the comps on from from ebay and people see them selling for over a hundred dollars it's only if they are in working condition and they are complete i feel like a lot of people don't share those details they just see like they share that oh they sold for 150 dollars no if it's not working you're probably not gonna get as much i was happy to get 25 dollars i paid five dollars for this at the swap meet and i was happy to get it out up next the doc martin boots they sold for a hundred dollars again i paid 33 dollars at the swap meet because i bundled the two pairs of skates and the boots so i made about 70 dollars in profit and finally this retro purple lips landline phone i picked it up i thought it was so cool at the swap meet as well i thought it was vintage but no it's actually just like an amazon phone so it's all for 20 dollars and i mean i only paid for a dollar for it so i was happy with that so those were all of my sales on facebook marketplace if you look at all of my previous sales videos monthly sales videos in every video i talk about how my ebay page is dead and i don't know what to do and finally i think i revived my ebay account a little and i ended up having seven sales for a total of 162 dollars and 48 cents i feel like i'm still stuck on the auction part of ebay and i'm just trying to do anything to revive it so i did a few auctions and some were very bad but some were okay um my first sale of the month was this vintage um barbie backyard play set i paid four dollars for this set again this is one of those items that i saw the comps and i saw one sold sell for like 80 something dollars and yeah mine got like no traction i've had this for over a year now i ended up putting it on auction for 9.99 and only got two bids and it, the bidding stopped at ten dollars and 49 cents plus shipping so i made four dollars on this but whatever this i feel like this was the catalyst to like start my ebay page rolling again up next i did a 12 piece of vintage lot if you follow me you also know that i used to have an antique booth so i had to liquidate a lot of my inventory from my booth so a lot of the inventory in this lot was our items that i've had for years that were just hanging in my booth um i used to purchase storage units storage locker units like huge lots of clothing and i would put them directly into my boots so a lot of this stuff was just leftover stuff so i did a 12 piece lot i started it at 9.99 plus shipping i think um the buyer paid 49 dollars in shipping for this dollars but i mean i i don't think i'm losing anything again this was all excess inventory that i needed to liquidate anyway so I ended up doing two lots. This is the second lot and this one I did lose out on. So somebody got a good deal because they <laughs> the bidding only went up to $10.50. And the buyer had to pay an additional $18 in shipping. So again, I needed to liquidate my inventory, but they got a great deal. Up next, another auction. This one went for more. <laughs> this one was $11 and it was only six items no it was only five items in the lot and they paid eleven dollars plus shipping i was able to fit it all in a flat rate poly bag up next this was my only decent sale on ebay this month it was this ted baker skirt i paid six dollars for it at goodwill and it sold for 65 dollars i took a best offer and this was a sale through the global shipping program up next another auction this timberland two-piece lot it was a timberland t-shirt and a hoodie 
sold for ten dollars and fifty cents plus shipping last sale of the month on ebay was this free people bridget bodysuit it sold for 9.99 this is from my free people lot i had some sales like this over on poshmark as well but it did sell for 9.99 plus shipping and that was everything on ebay i'm really trying to like ramp up on ebay but it's hard i don't know how people do it and i don't have a store so i think maybe getting a store might trigger ebay sales for me i don't know if you're an ebay seller please let me know how do i get the ball rolling because i feel like i'm stuck so yeah let me know down below so then finally i forgot to add this depop sale to my total sales it was only a six dollar sale but it was this mcdonald's toy no, actually i think it was a jack-in-the-box kids meal toy it was the powerpuff girls um what's his name gizmo the little monkey yeah this sold for six dollars again this was part of that um estate sale buy i just filled up a tote bag and it was like a huge tote bag full of stuff and i paid twenty dollars for it and like i've been selling i wish i could better track of how much profit i made on that buy but i i mean it, this is all profit at this point finally on the real real i made one sale <laughs> again i don't know what i'm doing at the time i just figure it out but i sent in this dress it was a diane von Furstenberg silk dress i had this listed forever in my poshmark closet and i got no action i sent it to thread up it it was listed on thread up for however like 90 days or however long no action whatsoever they sent it back to me i ended up sending it to the real real it sold for $75. However, I only get 55% commission, so I got paid out $30. I paid $10 for the dress. I made $20 profit after all of that. So I don't know. I feel like for the real real, if it's not gonna sell for over $150, I wouldn't even bother sending it in. Yeah, you're not gonna do any work, you're not gonna do any listings, but also that dress sold for 40% off so just be aware that whatever you're sending into the real real it's probably going to sell for up to 40% off it's very rare when there's a full price sale over there so if it's not going to be more than $150 honestly it's not worth it for you and if you're just starting off your commission is 55% which is less than Poshmark on Poshmark you get 80% you know they take 20% over here they're going to take 45% so just be weary of what you send into the real real and then i included this sale i made a sale on offer up it was for this art deco lamp i used to have it in my antique booth well i don't think it's true vintage it's like an 80s does art deco kind of lamp but it's all for 25 dollars, so i was happy because that was a cash sale so that was all of my sales in the month of July. That was a total of 47 sales for $1,485. Again, it was such a great month for me personally, but I feel like I'm kind of nervous now because August has been really slow to start. So I feel like, I mean, that's the life of, of a salesperson, right? You're just on a constant roller coaster and you never know what to expect so i just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you liked it if you like this kind of content go ahead and give me a follow i would love to have you i do videos every wednesday i've been doing two videos a week now mondays and wednesdays and i'm gonna try and keep it going for as long as i can if you're watching this video i'm on my way to texas this week so Follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is linked right here. I'll probably be sharing some adventures. I'm, you know I'm going to be thrifting in Texas. I'm going to be looking for vintage shops. I am working half the time, but I am going to sneak out and get some thrifting in. Um, shop some vintage. Hopefully make it to an estate sale or two. Who knows? Make sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm at Volver Volver Vintage for my stories and any other adventures I share over, over there. So much for following. And yeah, I'll see you guys on Wednesday. And next week, stay tuned for hopefully some Texas hauls, content, videos, etc. Thank you so much. Take care and I'll see you next week. Bye.